You've seen the ads, does it really work? Serious Instatox, do I believe Kathy Lee? Hello beautiful people, this is Anne, Fabulous Life 101. Thanks for tuning in today. On this channel, you'll find everything from makeup to skincare to fashion to travel, anything that makes you feel more fabulous at any age. Your eyes are gonna look years and years younger in two minutes, just two minutes. You're gonna have better looking eyes, lines and wrinkles are gonna be gone instantly. This has changed my life. This stuff is called Instatox. Well, I have seen these ads pop up all over my Instagram, YouTube, wherever. It has uh, Jennifer Stallone, wife of Sylvester, and Kathy Lee Gifford. And they're promoting this thing called Serious Skin Care, saying it's just a miracle that it removes all of their wrinkles. It makes their, their skin, their face, their eyes look 10 years younger. Well, I'm putting it to the test. I'm going to try it today. So anyway, what do I think? Okay, you've seen the ads for this stuff. This is Serious Skin Care Instatox, Temporary Targeted Facial Firming Wrinkle Smoothing Serum. Now, I've tried so many things very, very similar to this. I've tried the um, Plexiderm. I've tried this Beverly Hills Instant Eye Tuck, Tuck and Dark Circle Treatment. Um, a whole bunch of others, the brands too numerous to name. A lot of them are on um, Amazon, they range in price from about $14 to several hundred. Well, this one is $29. And I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to follow the directions exactly the way it says. What I've had problems with most of them is that after you put makeup on, either it looks flaky, you get these white crusty spots, or the results just completely disappear. So it says thoroughly cleanse face, done, re-rinse and pat dry, done, must be completely clean, free from serums, moisturizers, and makeup. Okay, that's done. So once applied, keep face expressionless for three minutes. So it just says put it on your hand, use your ring finger, tap it over targeted wrinkle areas. Okay, so it says put it on the palm of the hand, or do that. Shake it well. All right, I've got a little bit of this right here. And uh, just use my fingers and start under the eyes. This time of year, my allergies tend to make my under eyes even puffier. And I haven't had Botox in a long time, so I'm gonna do a little bit on the forehead. And just tap it in and let's go around the corners. Okay. Let's go all out and put a little bit around the mouth as well. If there's a little bit left, I'm going to put that on the neck. So the next step is just to wait for three minutes and let it dry, keeping my face as motionless as possible, okay? Okay, this Instatox has completely set my face feels actually kind of tight right now. Now it says, if applying moisturizer, gently smooth on a thin layer. A useful tip is to add a dime-sized amount of Instatox to your moisturizer before applying to skin. I'm gonna do that. I'm using the Wild Rose Daily Glow Moisturizer from Whitney Rose. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my palm and then just take just a drop of Instatox in with it. There we go. It's not quite a dime size. It's maybe half a dime size. So let's just mix that together and just lightly tap it on the skin. You don't want to rub. And next up, must have for any skincare routine, sunscreen using super goop. So I'm gonna just mix a little bit of the remainder of the moisturizer on my hand. And the same with that, just sort of lightly tap it on the skin. Not rubbing too hard, but spreading it with the fingers. 
Okay, I'm going to let this dry as well. All right, this feels kind of a little bit tacky, like I already have a primer on. So I'm not going to use any additional primer. I am going to use the IT Your Skin But Better CC Illumination. So I'm going to put this on my hand. What I'm going to do today, I normally use a brush, but the brush causes you to press and to sort of spread anything already on your skin around a little bit. So I'm just going to use a, a sponge and just sort of tap it in. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, the makeup is done. Now, unfortunately, I'm noticing a little bit of lines popping up again. The bag seemed to be slightly poking their head in. I'm going to try one more trick with this. I'm using this, just the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, which is a very little lightweight concealer. I put, start by putting on the top of my hand. And then I'm going to add in a drop of this. Just a tiny drop. Blend it together and just tap it on the under eye and right along here, right along here. And maybe just take a little sponge and blend a little bit. Okay, I'm going to just kind of set everything with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And now the test is just to see how long it lasts. So I'm going to touch back later this afternoon and just see what it looks like then. Are the wrinkles back? Is there any lasting effect at all? Are there any flakiness? I'll let you know. All right, it's been about eight hours since I first put on this Instatox, and the skin still feels firm. Uh, the results are still probably about 90% there. Now, once I put on makeup, I did find that, you know, if I lift my eyebrows, a few lines are gonna appear up here. Um, the hollows in the, under the eye do start to gradually reappear. But overall, it, it does feel tighter, firmer, less lines. The bags are much less obvious than not using anything at all. Now, is this particular brand, this particular product, some new miracle? No, it isn't. It's very, very similar to other products. Let me just show you a few of the others like this that I have. This is another one of my favorites, Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Eye Temporary Eye Tightener. Another one that I really like is Beverly Hills Liquid Miracle Instant Eye Talk and Dark Circle Treatment. Uh, others that are similar, Lumilift, Plexiderm. This one, a lot of uh, TV ads for this one as well. Then there's one by Strivectin, Hyperlift Eye. And then probably the least expensive is this Sudden Change 3-Minute Under Eye Firming Serum. They all work with the same principle. The main ingredients, sodium silicate, magnesium aluminum silicate, are present in all of these. Now, most of these, the better ones, will have a variance of peptides, minerals, uh, nutrients as well to help to moisturize your face as, long, as well as providing this sort of Instatox treatment. Now, of all of these, the Instatox, the Beverly Hills, and the Peter Thomas Roth are my three favorites. This one, the cheapest, it also didn't last very long. The little bit in this bottle, even though it's not very much, it's once you start opening the bottle, it starts to get hard. And I also found out that it initially comes out liquidy, but it's the more likely to get crusty. Oh, this, the Strovectin also, I found tended to get more uh, crusty. Now, Plexiderm, oh, and I forgot about this one. This was the first one I bought. And this one is Pradier Paris Non-Surgical Solution. It was also the most expensive. And this one and the Plexiderm both have sort of a pink color. The others are basically clear gels. Um, these 
it's still basically the same thing, the same effect. I do think I like the clear gel the best if you wanna like mix it with makeup. And again, the way I found to make it work the best is to first do it exactly like the directions on a clean face with no serums, no moisturizers, no anything. Put it on, hold your face still and let it dry for three minutes. Then after that, maybe mix a drop of it in with your moisturizer or sunscreen. Because a lot of these have sort of serums in with them. I don't really add serums. What I'll do is just add a little moisturizer and a sunscreen and maybe mix a drop of this in as well. Then with the foundation, you don't want to rub too hard or brush too hard or you'll loosen the effect. Just put it on very gently with a sponge works the best for me or possibly with your fingers. And then if you need any more, mix it in another tiny drop of this with your concealer and just touch up those trouble spots. Doing it that way, it adds a few minutes to your makeup routine, but it does really make your skin look a little bit firmer throughout the day. Now, as far as these ladies that do the ad, their skin looks perfect. Who wants to bet that they haven't also had a little bit of Botox, a little bit of fillers, maybe even a facelift? I don't know. So don't take everything for face value. However, if you really want something to help tighten your skin um, every day or just on special occasions, this stuff does work. Well, that's the video for today. If you liked it, could you please give us a thumbs up? Also, have you tried any of this product? Or have you found a similar product, something that really does work, that you really, really like? If so, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and light.